Hello and welcome to our In the 99 Deck Tech series. I'm Austin and today we're going to be talking about Lavinia Azurius Renegade. This legendary human soldier costs a single white and a blue for a 2-2 that says opponents can't cast non-creature spells greater than the number of lands they control. This means cost reduction and mana rocks aren't going to let your opponents cast any non-creature spells earlier than their converted mana cost. That's not going to stop this deck from playing any of its own mana rocks. Azorius Signet, Talisman of Progress, Felwar Stone, Soul Ring. The second ability on this card says whenever an opponent casts a spell, if no mana was spent to cast it, counter that spell. A few cards that synergize really well with this second ability are Spell Queller and Release to the Wind. As long as Lavinia is on board, your opponent cannot cast the spells exiled from these abilities. This deck is going to focus on making the game fair for you and your opponents by attempting to softlock them out of advantages that take place during any given turn. start things off, I'm going to be talking about the death and taxes portion of this deck. Cards like Avon Mind Sensor and Alms Collector are going to stop opponents from gaining card advantage over you by preventing a player from searching their library or drawing too many cards. Grand Arbiter, Thalia, Viren Wingmare, and Thorn of the Amethyst are going to force players to pay additional mana to cast spells, making it more difficult for your opponents while you attack them with a number of creatures each turn. In addition to the taxing effects, this deck has plenty of control as well. Azurius is known for controlling the game through counter spells and cheap removal. This deck includes a small counterspell package to deal with any pesky creatures that an opponent might have, as they're going to try and find ways to get around Lavinia's ability. Glenelendra Archmage can be sacrificed to counter a non-creature spell. Iona Shield of Ameria can prevent your opponents from casting spells of a certain color. Grand Abolisher stops your opponents from casting spells or using abilities during your turn. Lavinia Keeper of Silence says your opponent can't activate abilities of creatures. Teferi Mage of Zalafir can give your creatures flash, and each opponent can only cast spells at a time they cast sorceries. Many of the creatures have enter the battlefield effects, and so this deck tries to blink those creatures out of play and return them so that you can get some added value from them. There are cards like Blade and Wing Splicer that create a golem and give them flying or first strike. Venser Shaper Savant can return target spell or permanent to its owner's hand. Void Mage Husher Counters targeted activated ability when it enters the battlefield, and you may return it to your hand whenever you play a spell. There are also ways that this deck continues to add value to the creatures returning to the battlefield. Cards like Flicker Wisp and Restoration Angel blink a creature out of play and return them back to your set of the field. Miss Meadow Witch and Eldrazi Displacer have an activated ability that exiles a creature and returns it to the battlefield under the owner's control. There's also a small equipment package in this build in order to give your creatures evasion while also adding some value to your board state, untapping your lands, dealing damage and drawing cards, or returning permanents back from your graveyard. Stoneforge Mystic to grab any one of these equipments. Cloud Blazer, Mentor the Meek, and Mole Drifter are here for repeatable card draw. There's also some targeted land destruction here to deal with any powerful utility lands an opponent might have. There's a couple other ways to slow down some of your opponent's plays by making creatures, lands, and enchantments come to play tapped with cards like Thalia, Heretic, Cathar, Blind Obedience, Frozen Aether. This deck really wants to slow down your opponents while controlling the game so that you can get added value from board presence and attack with a ton of creatures to hopefully close out the game. A few cards that we chose not to include with this deck but wanted to mention anyway is Dream Halls, Knowledge Pool, Omen Machine, and Eye of the Storm. As taxing effects don't synergize well with the second ability, without Lavinia on board, these cards tend to get out of control from your opponent's perspectives, and the main theme of the deck is just trying to shut down a lot of what your opponents can do, not add to it. If you're interested in seeing this deck in a future video, let us know in the comments below. You can also support us on Patreon. Well, you'll get recognition at the end of each video, access to our Patreon-only feed, see updates from the channel, BTS photos, thumbnails, and access to our Discord chat where we discuss deck lists, news, community content, and more. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, tell us why, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.